Hi everybody, Emily here for Bramble Fox. I am sharing with you today a layout I created using the gorgeous pieces that came with the August Fox box, as well as a few geo tag that you can find in the shops. I started with a sheet of craft paper, which I trimmed down by an inch and a half on each side, simply so that I would have a center to my layout. At first I was going to use this paper flower, but or flower paper, uh, yeah. <laughs> At first I was going to use this side of the flower paper, and I then decided once I was looking at it, I decided to actually use the other side with just the white and the navy blue. I thought it looked much nicer with the craft cardstock. And it was just less heavy and brighter. So yeah, I preferred that other side. And that kind of took me in a different direction for this layout. Not that I had much direction to start with, but it just took me in a different kind of direction color-wise. So I gutted this paper so that I could save the inner bit for later use. Um, I don't like to waste paper and I thought that's uh, what I wanted to do with this uh, sheet. I then added some PVA glue all around the edges and then I did my trimmed bit of craft paper to the middle. I am then looking at layering different patterns and the direction I'm going now is towards a mixture of blues, aquas and pink. I thought it's a very soft color palette and also it matches beautifully with my everyday moment perspective as well as the geotag perspective. So I'm trying to keep towards that color palette. I was saying that I was I've changed a bit my palette compared to what I had in mind before and what I had in mind before was much darker colors which was reflected in the other side of uh, the blue and white paper I've used on my background I am now going for much lighter much softer colors and it also allows me to use a lot of the scraps that I had lying around so I quite like the fact that I've not wasted any paper there I only used well only used um, two full sheets of 12 by 12 which is my cardstock and uh, the sheet on which I've mounted my cardstock but other than that everything else is just scraps of paper or my pocket life card um, which as I've mentioned before I'm trying to use up because I've been accumulating them and they are so cute and beautiful and I think it's just a shame to let them go unused I am now trimming down those scraps of paper that I have so that I've got clean edges and making sure that they are squared so just trimming everything down and now I'm playing a little bit with some of the placement so I knew I wanted to use those two photos of Sophia so those were two photos I was going to use on another project but I didn't have the space to add them to it so they were already printed and I absolutely love those photos she's super cute she was running around in in the park and she kept running towards me and blowing kisses it was just so sweet and I really wanted to record those memories even though it's just as the title says it's everyday memories but it is super sweet memories that I cherish and I really wanted to record it and I thought this title with the perspective was perfect for those photographs. So as you can see, I've glued my perspective onto some coral cardstock and I am trimming around it. So I fast forwarded it for you so that you don't have to see it through the whole process. But I'm trimming around it with my craft knife so that it I love this technique with all of my title at the minute, especially when the title are quite scripted and refined. And I, I find it gives it an anchor 
um, onto my layout it, it helps my title sit on my layout and I feel like it has a base rather than being lost onto all the layerings of pattern behind it it really help it stand out onto my page and, and make it look much more appealing to my eye anyway so yeah it's a technique I've been using quite a lot I am now distressing the edges of all the papers I didn't want to have something too boxy and square because obviously everything is squared and um, I want it to retain that square shape I didn't want it all to feel too boxy and I like I love the texture of distressed paper edge so I went around with my scissors and gave it all a good rubbing now that all my papers have been distressed I'm playing one last time with the placement of all my patterns and my photographs I just decided to mount my photos onto some more pattern paper just a tiny edges showing so that they would stand out a little bit more so same again it's giving it a base for it to sit on and it make it look a lot more stable i would say i just love the effect it doesn't look like it the photo was just dumped on the page it make it look all more purposeful and a lot more thought in its placement and i love it there's a place for it i don't use that technique all the time but in this instance i thought because this layout is definitely more on a simple side and definitely more on the less technical side i would say it's just needed that little extra small detail that make this layout look nice so i'm now gluing all the pattern papers making sure that they are placed where i want them in uh, comparison to my photos i decided to have the photo where she's further away in the background so that it really looks but i overlap the photos so that it really looks it gives you the impression that visual impression that you can see her running towards us and i love that effect i think those photos um they, they were taken one after the other it, this is the same moment and they definitely needed to be together to reproduce that story i am now adding some of the flowers i wanted to have the flowers behind the photograph so those are flowers that i have fusica for a previous layout and i kept i knew i would use them eventually and this time is now so i decided to glue them onto my layout before gluing my photos it's not something that i do all the time sometimes i attach my photos before adding the final embellishment but in this instance because the placement to me is everything about this layout it's all the details and the refinement is in the actual placement of everything i just wanted to make sure that it was all perfectly placed so i attached the first photo with double-sided sticky tape directly onto my page but the second one is on double-sided sticky foam pad just to give even more of that impression of movement and that impression of seeing sophia run towards us I am now attaching my title slightly overlapping between the two same again because every day is slightly on the left and on the top it, and the moment is slightly on the right and underneath the position of it, the both words reinforce the movement of my photograph so visually it works perfectly together I am now adding the extra little touches of flowers just to uh, make the photos melt into the flowers in the background so it just encores it and chores it all together and it make it it makes sense of it I love those little geotags and I decided to use several of them i think they are super cute i love the colors of them and it matches perfectly this layout 
so I decided to just go for it and use several of them and not just have the odd one pointing to a placement it's just kind of a way of saying because they've got hearts and they've got stars in them it's kind of a way of saying love is here love, there's love there and there's amazement there because it's the stars and you know stars in their eyes it's just that whole imagery of look all this all this underneath there that's all that's all love that's all magic that's just everyday moments everyday magic so yeah it's kind of feeling that i went for with all of those geotag pointing and reinforcing so they're pointing to the first photo which is further away so that grabs the eyes towards the first photo and then the first photo automatically pushes you towards the second photo where she's closer and it's just the movement of this layout is very natural and it's the eye naturally travel through the layout i'm now adding my date and adding my journaling so one other tip i would give to you if you stamp your journaling or even if you use certain pen be careful over your nouveau embellishment mousse because i've found out and you'll see later on i found out that i was getting some ink transfer over my hand i'm left-handed so i uh, ink transfer over my hand has been the pain of my life it's something that i've gone through my entire life um but yeah i'm get i was getting ink transfer and i've not noticed straight away because there's a little bit of a smidging of ink and i hate that so if you're like me with that i would say just be careful with new embellishment mousse if you're going to stamp on it um, you will see eventually when I finally noticed that this is what has happened I grab a piece of cardstock to protect what has been stamped so that my hand doesn't go over it again and touches it again and then see I've just noticed you could see I looked at my hand and I've removed the sound there was probably a couple of swear words in there but yeah i just just be careful that's one of my uh, big lesson with this layout we all learn everything with every single layout and that was my big lesson with this one inks and new embellishment mode doesn't always work so yeah so playing around finishing my journaling um i just talked about how she loves running in the park with those uh, recent hot and warm days and she just loves running towards me and blowing kisses and I think that's just super cute she's so sweet she's such a good girl and a good baby I'm very blessed with her so yeah finishing off the whole journaling and then I'm looking over, once that's all done, all my journaling is done, I'm looking over and my layout and I'm noticing that maybe it could do with a tiny little bit of extra something. So I did a little tiny couple of um, enamel dots around my layout just to add that little tiny drops and extend it on, on the sides. And there we go. Here's the... Uh, finished day out so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure that you hit the subscribe button hit the bell button i have new videos for you weekly between the design teams work so please make sure that you come back and i really do appreciate all your love and all your comments so thank you very much for watching bye